What is up my of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the creator class and gunsmith that we are going to be seeing in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Gunsmith was first introduced to us in the previous Call of Duty title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and it's returning in Black Ops Cold War, which I don't think many people really mind, like I'm still kind of on the fence with it, but most people seem okay with it. So we'll just start with the creator class first, so we have your primary weapon with 5 attachments, then you have your secondary weapon which again can have 5 attachments. Then under this is the tactical, lethal and field upgrade slots under these. Then we have the perk tier selections, perk 1, perk 2 and perk 3. Then finally under the perk selection we have wild cards. Now this is not like Treyarch's Black Ops 2 pick 10 system. This is definitely not like it. However it does take the wild cards from that pick 10 system and actually bring them over to this new system which I kind of like and many people are saying that wild cards are going to be huge in this which I could see happening so I'm just going to list off the perks in each perk selection and show you what they do and yeah let's go so perk 1 has engineer Attack mass and flak jacket. So engineer is detect enemy equipment and score streaks through walls, see enemy score streaks on your mini map, and re-roll care packages. So this all confirms care packages are back in Black Ops Cold War. Tactical mask maximizes resistance to flashbang and stun grenades, and this actually makes you immune to gas. So I'm presuming it's gas grenades or could this potentially be gas in Warzone as well? How we have it in already in Modern Warfare's Warzone, where there is gas, you have the gas mask. If you have on tactical mask, does that make you immune to the gas? I kind of hope not, because that would be really, really, really overpowered. And then, of course, we have flat jacket. This takes less damage from enemy explosives and molotovs. Perk 2 section, then we have scavenger. Quartermaster and Tracker. Scavenger replenishes ammo from fallen players. Quartermaster recharge equipment over 25 seconds. Tracker then is see imprint of enemy footsteps. Aim at enemies to reveal them on your team's minimap, which in my mind is just absolutely crazy when you think about it. Like being able to see players and then they come up on your minimap. For how long? We don't really know as of now. Is it only for 10 seconds? Is it for the whole time until they die? I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Finally then we have perk 3 section. Ghost, Ninja, Cold Blooded. Ghost is undetectable by enemy spy planes whenever you are moving, planting or defusing bombs or controlling score streaks now this is basically going back to black ops 2 ghost where if you did not move on the map you came up on the mini map which is good i love that i thought that was a brilliant idea and it just kind of took away from people just camping with ghosts and not being seen or anything like that moving on to ninja this is just dead silence and we were told this was coming back as a perk and it was 100% confirmed and as of now it is 100% confirmed as well. This is sprint more quietly, resistant to field mic. Now this is, this is really good, I, I like this, I think this is something that's going to be interesting. You sprint more quietly, people will still be able to hear you but not as much as other players. And resistant to the field mic so you will not come up at all on the field mic upgrade which is good I like how there's a counter to it like sometimes there won't be a counter to something that people will use and it'll just be really really overpowered next then we have cold blooded this is AI controlled score streaks will not target you player controlled score streaks will not highlight you You'll show up cold on terminal players in vehicles 
you won't see your nameplate, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't really understand the vehicle one. It's kind of weird. Like, will that say, oh, well, this is actually, it could be a, our, it could be a friendly or it could be an enemy. I'm not really sure how that one's really going to work. In Gunsmith, you have eight different sections. These are from top to bottom, optic, muzzle, barrel, under barrel, body, stock, magazine, and handle. And clicking on these sections give you options on what attachments you want to put on your gun. From what I could see, there were about five to six different attachments you could choose from in each section. Now in Black Ops Cold War's Gunsmith, it actually tells you what percentage in each of the pros and cons, instead of what we got in Modern Warfare's Gunsmith, where it just told you a plus or a minus symbol and that was it in the pros and cons section now there's no there wasn't just kind of recoil control attachment there was always kind of a horizontal recoil control attachment or a vertical recoil control attachment so these are both separate from each other so this is going to be interesting to see how this works i could see many weapons say uh one of the weapons in the game uh any weapon has a high vertical recoil and uh, to fix that maybe you put on just all vertical recoil control attachments and you just start beaming it could end up like the grow you never really know which this seems pretty interesting because it's going to change a lot of play styles because you could have people that play with certain weapons that have high horizontal recoil and then they'll have to kind of put on numerous attachments to counterbalance this and vice versa with the vertical as well and this is going to be pretty interesting to see because we're going to have a lot of variations on attachments on certain weapons say like the mp5 and the m4a1 in uh, modern warfare we could see we could see the likes of them but some of them could have maybe the m4 might have horizontal uh recoil control so you'll have to kind of control that recoil and then the mp5 could have high vertical recoil so you'll have to control them so they'll actually work differently compared to each other instead of having the same kind of attachments on which is pretty cool i think in my mind and i'm pretty excited for this game i'm gonna kind of stop judging it until the beta comes out and i actually play it for myself because that's when i can actually get a better uh kind of opinion on it i know i didn't really play i don't think there was a beta for modern warfare actually no i think there was but i said i was terrible even before that but you know i think black ops cold war if it does not have skill based matchmaking it's going to be a very very good very very good game very good Call of Duty game, and I can see it outpass in Modern Warfare if that is the case. For now, guys, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button right beside the like button. Is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to the channel. Beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel, which is rare. Speaking of live streams i tend to live stream on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live over there i also have a twitter account that i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel and you can mainly find me on my twitter and my notifications are more or less on the whole time so anybody tweets at me or anything like that i will see it link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button don't have to hit the notification bell because i know how annoying the notification bell is on some accounts on twitter and that's why i have the notification bell turned off so i don't use that but yeah this is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace